Hi, it's Eric White. In this screencast, I'm going to walk through the process of embedding a chart in a Word document and then updating the chart data programmatically. I'm going to show how to update the data in the workbook that is embedded in the Word document and I'm also going to show how to update the cached values. You have to update both sets of values if you want to properly update the values that drive a chart in an embedded chart in a Word document. First of all, I've created a pretty simple little spreadsheet here with a chart. This is nothing out of the ordinary. I'm also going to come back here and I'm going to create a new Word document and I'm going to call this Embedded Chart .docx. Come over here and I'm going to click on this and I'm just going to copy that chart and I'm going to go to home and I'm going to say paste and here I am going to use the destination theme and embed the workbook. There are other options here. I could keep source formatting and embed it. I could use the destination theme and link the data or keep source formatting and link the data or just embed a picture. But what I want to do for this demonstration is to use the destination theme and embed the workbook. So now we have that. We could come down here and we say edit data and this does the trick that Word and Excel know how to do where where you're editing the data in Excel side by side to the Word document and I could come over here and I could change this to 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 and we see that this chart updates over here and also the embedded chart updates over here in the Word document. We close that and now I'm just going to save that document and close it. The next thing that we're going to do here is look at the structure of the OpenXML that contains that embedded chart. So I'm going to drag this embedded chart over here into Visual Studio and use the power tool that allows us to edit open package convention files. If we come into this package, we see there's the document and we can see that this the document has a relationship to chart 1. We come over here to chart 1, we expand it and we see that chart 1 has a relationship to embeddings slash Microsoft Excel Worksheet 1 dot XLSX. That is over here. It's hard to actually see this in this form so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and export that and I'm going to export that into this same directory Microsoft Excel Worksheet 1 dot XLSX. Now if we come back to Explorer and open that we in fact see that that is identical to the worksheet and chart that I embedded in the document which is as we would expect. So let's close that. But it's important, it's actually uh, interesting to have a copy of that around and I'll show you why. Next I want to show you what you have to do to update those values. Well first of all you have to update the values in the Microsoft Excel workbook in that worksheet up here this guy right here let's look at a program to do that here's program.cs we run down through here I'm gonna just walk through this code verbally first thing that we do is open up the word processing document in this particular case I know that that chart is in the first paragraph you'll probably want to have a more sophisticated scheme about where you're locating your charts and how you locate the particular chart for which you want to update data. That's outside of the scope of this 
narrative. In this particular case, I just want to talk about the mechanics of updating the values only. So I simply hard coded to look for the chart in the first paragraph. This line finds the first paragraph and then this line finds the drawing and then this line finds the chart reference and I finally get the relationship ID from the chart reference. From that I can find the chart part. This particular pattern that you see here is a pretty common pattern that once you have the relationship ID you can use this query to get the chart part out of there. Then once I've found the chart part I can go into the chart part markup and find the external data relationship ID. Once I find that external data relationship ID I can then find the embedded package part. Once I have the embedded package part I can get the stream of the part then I create a memory stream and I copy the stream from the embedded package part to the memory stream. And the reason we want to do this is that when you open a stream using the OpenXML SDK, that stream has to be resizable. So the stream that we get from the embedded package part is not resizable, so we create a memory stream and then copy that original stream to the memory stream. We can then open the spreadsheet document from that memory stream. Once we open the spreadsheet document, we can then find the first workbook. I Again, I know that the data is in the first workbook, so I simply hard code that here you probably again will probably have a more sophisticated approach to that but again that's outside of the scope of this narrative. Once we have found the workbook we can find the worksheet part. Once we have the worksheet part I can dive in to the sheet data, find the second row which is the row that I'm going to update and once I have the second row I can update the values on that row. This is pretty normal code to modify an OpenXML spreadsheet. When I get all done with modifying the values that I want to modify, I can write the modified stream back into the embedded package part. So that's only the first part of what we have to do. If we come back over here into the embedded chart document, so at this point in time we have updated the values in the embedded Microsoft Excel worksheet. But we also have to update the cached values. So I'm going to open up the chart and I'll show you the cached values that we want to update. I'm going to collapse a couple of things here. Here are the cached values for that second row these are the values that I want to update. That's what is important to update in order that when you open a Microsoft Word document with an embedded chart that you see the correct data immediately as you open the Word document. So these are the values that we want to update. So coming back over here, again this is pretty standard OpenXML SDK code to get the chart we have the chart part already and to get the chart out of it get the bar chart from the chart and once we have the bar chart we can dive down into it find the numeric value element and then change the text of the numeric value elements. The way I did this is I made a little static integer array that's initialized with the values that I want to change it to. So if I change this to 6, 7, 6 and save that. So 676 6 is the data that I want to update. So here I have a project and in this project I have that same embedded chart. 
if I were to go in here and say let's edit the data I would see there's there's the data and the data at this point in time for car is 333 three, three, and there is the chart that has 333 three, three graphed in it let's close this close this I don't need to save any changes come over here and let's run this I come back into bin debug there is the modified document open it and there is six seven and six that are updated these graph values are coming from the cache values and if I go into edit data then I can actually see that the data for car has been changed to 676 and that was changed by the code that modifies the spreadsheet so that's the critical part of this is that you need to update both sets of values you have to update the values in the spreadsheet and you have to update the cached values one of the key points is, is it's just a little bit tricky to go and find the embedded package part and open the embedded package part using the OpenXML SDK so in effect what we're doing is first we're opening the word processing document then we get down here we get the correct stream and then we use the OpenXML SDK again to open the spreadsheet document we modify the values then down here we modify the cached values.